Imagine this. User now messages you on the WhatsApp asking about your service. Now you start asking a uh, lot of questions to the user. What is your name? What service you require? And blah, blah, blah. Too many questions over here. User get disappointed and disheartened over you and drops off. Now imagine this. User send you a message. Now you send them a WhatsApp message where a form gets open in the WhatsApp itself. No external website, no Google form, nothing. Form gets open over there. Now user fills the manual information over here. You get the message. User is happy. Everyone is happy. Now go home and enjoy. Correct? This is what practical solution we are going to develop in today's video. Let me give you a quick demo. So now let's consider yourself as a uh, user and I send a hello over you. Instead of asking too many questions over you, now what will I get? I will get a single message over you. As we can see, we have got a single message over you where it's uh, telling answer a few quick questions so we can understand your requirement and get back to you faster. No back and forth message, tech less than 30 seconds. I'll click on the button and the form gets open in the WhatsApp itself. Now they're asking for minimal information like name, phone number, then what service is needed. I choose the service, then estimate budget also I'm asking over here, then the callback time. Okay. Once the user select everything, the buttons pop up over here. Now user can submit this button and voila, you get the information, user is happy. And now user will get a message over as, as well. Hey Lakshit, thanks for your detail. We received your request for WhatsApp automation. Our team will contact you at this time looking forward for connecting. And this information is stored in the Excel sheet as well so that it could be anywhere for the demonstration purpose. I'm showing Excel sheet, but it could be stored anywhere. So this is what we are going to make today. If you're excited, if you want to learn this thing. So my name is Lakshit and if you are looking for automation, I am an automation expert. I help businesses, creator, marketer, grow their social media using automation. So if you want to connect with me, there's a link in the description below. So let's get started for this video. So this video is divided into multiple parts over here. So first let's start with understanding what are the prerequisite to proceed ahead. So first prerequisite is that you need a WhatsApp business platform, not a normal WhatsApp number. You require a WhatsApp business platform. Okay. And you need to set up your WhatsApp business platform, a cloud API. Okay. And then you need to verify your business. Don't worry. This might be looking too many steps, but this is a very simple step. This is the video I have shown how to do this, all the things and making your own WhatsApp. AI agent production ready so that anyone can message you from anywhere. Now the second step after completing all the prerequisite is that go to this business.facebook.com inside that choose the business portfolio which you have created inside that go to setting. Now we have WhatsApp account over here. Click on WhatsApp account and choose the WhatsApp account which you have created. It means the WhatsApp number which you have added over here. Okay. It should be your own WhatsApp uh, number over here. Now, once you have the number, we'll click on the WhatsApp manager. Now select the WhatsApp flow. Now we need to create a flow over here. So we'll click on the create flow. Now give the flow name. So we'll name it as a test anytime. We'll select the category. You can select multiple category over here. For now, I'm just selecting other and customer support. You can select any category over here. Now there are two templates without endpoint and with endpoint. In this video, we are going to understand what without endpoint. With endpoint is the flow which can be dynamic. So the whatever users select according to that, the form and the page will differ. So we'll see, uh, we'll see that in the next video, but in today's video, we are going to keep it static without endpoint. So now you can select any kind of uh, information over here again as well. Okay. So we have multiple options by default they are giving. Okay. So we'll come over here and click on create. So now I'm getting error because I have the same flow name. That's the reason. Let me give it to over here. Let me click on create. So now it is created as you can see, it is currently is in draft state. So now these are the flow JSON, which has been created. Now this is a default flow, which we are getting, but don't worry if you want to have an exact flow, which I have created, you'll be getting that flow at, at the later part of this video. But if you want to create your own flow, so we have the WhatsApp playground over here. Okay. So from this playground, we can see, we can add multiple screens over here, whatever screens you want. And then you can change the screen name. like like say for example, one of three, one of Lakshit, whatever screen name you want to add over here. Then we can have our own small heading over here. Okay. Then we have a single choice, which we, whichever we want to add, we can add a paragraph. If you want to add something else, like a, you want to add an image and text answer, paragraph, date picker, selection, single choice, multiple choice, and whatever you want, you can customize it. Okay. Then come over here, copy this flow JSON, paste it over here and then click on run and you will get the exact same thing which you created in the playground. Okay. But I'll be using the flow which I have shown for the demonstration. So I'll be pasting that over here. Okay. So we have this flow over here. So I have, uh, I have changed the flow because I already have this uh, same flow. That's, that's the reason I have gone to the flow which I already have. 
so we can see we i am asking full name phone number service needed this this and this all information also one thing to note over here let me show you this json flow this is the json flow which we have created we require this id over here so i'll be telling you why we require this id because we need to map the data but once we have this thing now what we'll do we can come over here and we can send it okay send to the particular phone number uh send a number which you have created your own number over here then to whom we need to send this and the first screen whichever screen you want okay then if you click on send you will receive that same number in your uh, whatsapp phone but what we'll do since we have uh, save it so we can uh we'll get an option or to publish over here you can publish it once it is published so you can see we have this flow id just copy this flow id now we'll go to the end and end. we'll proceed with the third step now this is the end and workflow which we are going to create over here okay so this you might have already done okay now what we need to do we will be receiving a message over here so let me do one thing let me convert this into the test workflow so for that i'll unpublish it okay and we'll copy this test url we'll go to our what's our flow and before hitting this we'll go to the end and execute the workflow and verify and see so that we can now start sending message to this particular uh, webhook over here so we can see it, everything has worked properly and one more major thing to note over here is that inside the webhook field we need to allow subscription for the flows over here earlier we only had the subscription for the message now we need to allow for the flow as well once this thing is done now let's me let me send a single message over you let me send hello so i have sent the hello over you okay so we have received the message and i received the uh, message over here as well okay once this is done so now we'll filter out the message which are of uh, no use now these are messages something like uh, delivered read such kind of shit is message which we don't require right now and we'll set all the variables you require the phone number id this phone number id you'll be getting from here if you go to the api setup select the number which you have and from here we'll be getting the phone number id and also copy this whatsapp business account id so we have the phone number id use this whatsapp business account id app version you keep it as 24.0 what number you'll be getting from the message wherever you got so we have this display phone number this is the what number and the user number will be getting from here we have wea underscore id this is the what uh, user number once we have this thing now we need to add a switch over here switch we require because we need to differentiate between the flow message and the normal message which user is sending so now we are getting a normal message so at this time inside the webhook we'll be having this thing uh the messages text you type equal to text so whenever we get this message it's a normal text so when we get this thing it's a time to send the whatsapp flow okay so for that we'll be using this um url okay where we have the app version then the phone number id now you might have added your own header auth and we have this json over here where we have the receptor time to whom we are sending so we have set this in variable now type is interactive and interactive type is flow over here and now i'm adding the image over here okay to, uh, to it looks good if we add an image okay and now inside the body we are uh, sending this the answer a few questions whatever you want to add you can add it over here same in the text uh footer part your detail are safe with us you can given uh you can also write this thing if you want this is an optional field if you want you can remove this as well once you've written this thing now inside the action we need to name it as a flow parameter this will remain same this will also if you want to change whatever cta so i have used the get underscore uh started over here you can have whatever cta you want and this will also remain as it is now only thing which will change is this flow id and where we'll get this flow id we'll get this flow id from where we created the flow so we have this flow id over here copy this flow id and paste it over here once we paste it the message will go to our uh, user over there as we can see that we have got the message over here okay so now user can start filling the information over here so let me fill the information now let me execute the workflow and now let me submit the details and once you submit the detail we'll get all the information over here as you can see we have got all the information we're adding in the information over here and we also get the confirmation message uh, from the editor now let's start decoding everything so till here everything remains same now inside the switch we know it's equal to nfm reply so inside the webhook now instead of the text type equal to now we'll get this interactive type is equal to nfm reply now once you go inside this thing now we need to create the mapping the mapping which i told you earlier that we require the id so now as i told you earlier we'll be requiring the id this is adding is nothing but let me copy this id let me go to the flow let me open this flow and let me click on edit if i search this thing so you can see we have this id over here now this id is mapped with this title okay so for each and every drop down information or your phone information budget information everything will have the id so we need to create this mapping over here where each and every id is associated with the normal information which you are asking 
this is required because from the uh, flow message we, we get this id and not the actual message which we get over here okay so now once we have the id now we have this code node over here which will map everything to properly if i execute this step as you can see we are getting the name phone number what service we require budget and call time this is possible because we created the mapping over here okay once we have that all the information now we need to reply back message so we are creating a, a json file just to have a dynamic message we are putting the name of the person what service they selected and what call time they selected this is the variable information now once we have this thing now we'll send them a normal uh, message okay to send a normal message we have this uh, http node over here where we are sending this messaging type as product to whom we are sending type equal to text let me come over here execute this thing Okay, so we have got the again same message over here. It's a two time. No worries. Just to a demonstration purpose. We have two and the body over here. We are replacing all the single slash with the double slash in because with single slash in, it won't go. It will give an error of JSON is not proper. Once we have that thing, now we need to append this information inside the Google Sheet. If you come to Google Sheet, we can see we are storing all the information. It could be anywhere. It could be your own CRM. It could be on Slack. So I also shown the Slack as well. So if you go to the editor, we are sending the same message in the Slack as well. Okay. So if you go to Slack, so now instead of Slack, we can see we are getting the all the information which we received over here. Okay. So this is how you can create your own WhatsApp flow and make your customer happy and convert your lead to a paid customer out there. So I hope you like this video. This is the whole WhatsApp flow series which I'm making. This video is regarding the uh, without endpoint part, but I'll be also showing how does the endpoint work and much more things. So my name is Lakshmi. If you like the video, please press the like button. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.